I have the five things you should never buy at Walmart. Hi, I'm the YouTube deal guy, Matt Granite from mattsdailydeals.com and these are five things you should absolutely never buy at Walmart. I'm very excited to bring you this updated list. A reminder, if you like this content, click the thumbs up. If you wanna subscribe and turn your notifications on, you are eligible for any of my weekly giveaways, which include tech and all these other crazy items. Now, today's roundup does not include a giveaway, but if you do head over to mattsdailydeals.com, a reminder, give me your name and email address, I will not spam you. That will increase your eligibility for all of the giveaways. You'll also find my most recent deals. A reminder, I do use affiliate links on this website, so I do benefit monetarily by a few cents if you're kind enough to use one of my links. With the products I'm about to show you right now, obviously no store is paying me in any direction to give you this advice. I'm just very excited because I get to advocate for you, which is what I am, a consumer advocate at my core. The first thing I would not buy at Walmart is it going to be very controversial for some of you because it's something we all buy from Walmart. And keep in mind, Walmart does have great products and great deals. I'm not trying to slam them in any way. It's just one thing that you shouldn't buy from Walmart, and that is a television. <laughs> All right, bear with me for a moment. I know I can already imagine a lot of you stirring in your seat over this one. Walmart has phenomenal television pricing, but a lot of the advertising tied to it is somewhat unintentionally misleading, and they don't have price match guarantees on a lot of the television products. So let's start first with the Samsung 75 inch TV. Let's look at the model number. So we're comparing apples to apples. Walmart very carefully includes a list price of $1,500 and a reduction down to $847.99. This TV has never sold for $1,500 ever. If you were to go onto this page right now, you would be very excited that you're saving so much money from Walmart, which is not actually the case. Let's take the exact same model number and look at Best Buy. Again, same model number, just to show you, apples to apples. The same television, which is $2 more from Best Buy, has a price match guarantee. So first things first, you're going to get the Walmart price. You just need to simply present that to them. Second, Best Buy is including a free Google Nest Mini second generation, which is a $49 value, and Apple Music free for four months if you do want to use that in your new subscriber. Just on the Google Nest Mini alone, you're getting a huge benefit, but you're also protected by the price match guarantee, and you also know that with the list price they give you of $8.99, you're really only saving 50 bucks on this television, which is the current price, which Walmart has not updated. They also advertise this as a limited time offer. This TV has been on sale at this price since two weeks after Black Friday. Now, with that being said, on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, there are great television deals and great laptops and unprecedented deals tied to Walmart, which are restricted to those times of the year, but for everyday purchases, that's one of the five things I would not buy. Next product, batteries. Let's go to the battery section. I should mention if you belong to a warehouse club, you're always going to get a better deal on batteries from someplace like Costco, even Sam's Club, Walmart's parent company. If you look at the battery deal that Walmart has for the Duracell AA batteries with the guaranteed 10 years of life in the 16 pack, you're paying 80 cents per battery. $12.78 will get you 16 batteries. But for roughly a dollar more, if you use the subscribe and save from Amazon, you're getting 24 batteries for $13.10 and 55 cents per battery. Even if you revert to the one-time purchase price at Amazon where you're paying $15.41, you're paying 64 cents per battery and not 80 cents. Now, some of you could say, well, this isn't a fair comparison. What would the 16 pack have been on Amazon? They don't sell it right now, just as Walmart doesn't sell the 24 pack. My point being, you can actually get more bang for your buck, assuming you're gonna use more batteries. In fact, if you were just simply going to go for the most bang for your buck, stores that have their own in-house quality brands, in the case of this Amazon Basics, you can get batteries for as low as 45 cents if you do use their brand or 38 cents if you do use subscribe and save for a battery. Again, not saying Amazon Basics is as good as Duracell and in my findings, Duracell and Energizer really are tops, but hey, this is something to keep in mind. When you are comparing at unit costs, Walmart, Target, Amazon all sell different quantities of products deliberately so you can't price compare. That's how they compete. But with that being said, when you are looking at that per unit price, you're going to find certain stores have a much lower price, even if the quantity is different. And that's something to keep in mind. Obviously, you don't need 2,000 batteries at $0.03 cents each.
But when you are comparing something like 16 batteries to 24, it's not as much of a stretch. I also want to remind you that just because a lot of people are buying something from a specific store doesn't make it the best purchase ever, which brings me to the third product of the top five things I would not buy at Walmart and groceries. Walmart is easily the most aggressive grocery seller in the entire country. And on top of that, more people buy groceries at Walmart than any other retailer. But that doesn't actually mean it's a good purchase. If you actually look at the consumer satisfaction surveys and indexes, Walmart usually places last. In fact, if you look at this recent review from Kiplinger, just as an example, Trader Joe's and Aldi's actually brought in lower prices than Walmart on organic foods. If you didn't know that Walmart sold organic foods, they do, but that doesn't actually mean they are the best place to go just because the price is lowest. In my findings, and you guys can leave me a comment, the produce at Walmart, while it is unbelievably well-priced, is it always the freshest? Is it always the best? And you can actually do better from different services. And I've done full reviews of the meal boxes and the comparison systems. If you do subscribe to my channel, that's the type of content I'll continue to present you with. Number four on my list. Doesn't my head look even more large and annoying when I, when I do that? Of the top things I would not buy at Walmart, vitamins. And I know so many of you purchase vitamins from big box stores, including Walmart. And this is a really interesting study. I want you to look at your screen right now because if you are picking up store brand supplements, so this is a study I didn't do, but this is very interesting. An investigation by the New York Attorney General's office found that many of the store brand herbal supplements sold at Walmart, as well as Target, Walgreens, and GNC, didn't contain any DNA from the plants listed on the label. Walmart was the worst offender of the bunch with only 4% of the products testing positive for the labeled ingredients. What? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's just a waste of money. That's like taking one of these, just going bam, or just filling the bottle with air and popping placebos. No difference. So keep that in mind when you are buying store brand supplements and specific vitamins. If they do carry a larger brand, of course, there may be a bit more merit in that. Again, I'm not making any medical claims, but that was an interesting study that I did not conduct. And number five is an item where if you've ever purchased furniture from Walmart, you've likely seen that. All right, now that's not to say that every piece of furniture from Walmart is a no-go, but as a whole, especially if you are shopping in store, a lot of those pieces of furniture that are back from all different companies that don't necessarily have the quality of the larger brands. Let's face it, Walmart is not designed as a furniture store. Per product and per price, if you actually do your research and take into account quality and warranty, you're going to do better at stores like Wayfair where there's constantly a sale running tied to furniture, Overstock, even Ashley's Furniture, Value City Furniture, many of those brands compete directly with Walmart pricing, but there is a substantial higher level of quality tied to each product purchase. And if you do happen to shop for products tied to furniture on Amazon, Again, Amazon's a marketplace, just like Walmart. I wouldn't go and buy every piece of furniture from Walmart either, but there are brands like Safavia, which is a very well-priced brand. I believe they're somewhere out of New York State and they do a very good job with their furniture at competitive pricing. Again, buy from a brand, not from a store when it comes to furniture in most cases, unless of course the store is Ashley's or one of those other retailers. Now I'd love to hear from you guys. One of the ways that I get better at my job is your insight and your comments. If there's something you think is a great purchase at Walmart, let me know. In fact, if there's something where you don't agree with me, because I'm sure many people aren't going to agree with me on the TVs, even though I quoted that price match guarantee, I'd love to hear from you. I'm not saying every category is an absolute every day of the year. There are no absolutes in life, except for that I absolutely appreciate anyone that subscribes. This is a great way to make me better at my job. So please feel free to leave me a comment and a reminder for those on my email newsletter, you are eligible for any of my weekly giveaways, none of which are affiliated with any social media platform. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'm going to wish you a great rest of your day and don't forget to make your move to one of my next videos. If you like this type of content, I've got so much more of it and I can't wait to share it with you. Bye-bye.